If you want to insert an image of a web page in your presentation, you can do that even if you have to scroll the web page. I'm going to go over to uh, Edge here, and let's say I want to grab just this list of latest posts. What I can do in Edge is press Control Shift S, and that puts it into a screen capture mode within the browser. And you have two options, either the full page or free select. I'm going to select this free select, and then I can use my cursor here to drag around the area that I want to capture. And you'll notice when I go off the bottom, it scrolls down to where I want it to be. So now I've selected what I want. I release the mouse button and it says, do you want to add notes or do you want to copy? I'm going to select copy. It says it's copied. I'll go back to my PowerPoint presentation. I'll just hit Control V to paste it in. And now you can see that I have the entire image of my page here in my presentation. And now, of course, I can resize it as I need to so that it shows what I want the entire page. And this is really good if you want to show where down a page somebody needs to click on something or uh, which button they have to choose if it's in a different section of the web page. So this is a really good way within Edge to be able to capture the web page even if it scrolls off the bottom of the browser window. If you have multiple tabs open in a browser window, you can actually create separate browser windows for one or all of those tabs if you want. And you, the easiest way to do that is to simply essentially tear this tab out of this browser window. So let's say I wanted to separate this tab that has uh, this particular YouTube playlist. What I do is I grab the tab and I just drag it down and away. And you'll notice that it has now created its own window. This is an advantage in a presentation because if you want to show just one tab and not let everybody see the other tabs you have open in your browser, you can just remove that tab, tear it off into its new window, share that with your audience in the meeting, and then when you're done, if you want to consolidate it again, you just take that particular tab, grab the tab, drag it back on to the other window, and now it creates the tab as part of that browser window. So it's a great way to be able to separate a single browser tab so that you can share it in your meeting. In your browser, you can set a timer to use for polls, exercises, breaks, whatever you want to. Just simply go to either Google to the search bar or if you have search set up in the address bar and just simply type in set a timer for and then however many minutes. I'm going to say two minutes and hit enter. And what you'll see is that you have a countdown timer that's already started in Google. So this is a great tool because it allows you to have the timer. And then what you can do is you can just create a new window. You can just tear this out. So I'm going to take this tab and move it out so it's a new window. And now with this window, I can resize it. So I might want my browser to be big for the other content that I'm sharing, but I can resize this now and use the scroll bars to set it up so I just see the timer, for example, being shown here. The timer ends with a sound, so you control that by this icon, just click that and you can see it turns the sound off. Now, what you can do is you can set the timer to whatever time you want, and it's not restricted to the initial time that you put on. So I can click in here and I can type in, if I wanted the next one to be five minutes, for example, type in five and then zero, zero, and click start. Because this is a window, you can share this in a meeting or you could drag it on top of the screen that you're sharing so everybody can see the countdown timer. And so what I'll do sometimes is actually just start this window up and have it available during the meeting at whatever time I need to use it. I just go in, type in the countdown amount, click st start and move it over to the screen that I'm sharing. So it's a great way to use a countdown timer from your browser with any, in any presentation. A quick and easy way to show an image in a presentation is actually open it in a browser window. So if you have uh, just Windows Explorer here, File Explorer open, and you want to show a particular image, what you can do is just grab that image in the list 
and drag it onto the Edge browser. It opens up that image, and the nice thing I like about this is it has a black background. Now, if you want to share just this image, again, you can just take the tab, tear it out of the browser window, and share just this browser window in your meeting. And the nice thing here is you'll notice the cursor is the little plus sign. So when you click, it zooms in, and you click again, it zooms out. So you have that additional functionali functionality built into the browser when you're displaying an image. And then when you're done, you can simply stop sharing the image. If you want to dock the, the tab back in with the rest of the browser tabs, you can do that, and you can just simply close it. So it's a great way to be able to show an image from File Explorer, just drag it to the browser, and then share that image in your meeting. The Edge browser also has a really good PDF display functionality that you can use to show a PDF document in a presentation. So if I want to show this PDF document here, I'll just drag it onto the browser. It opens up a new tab and it shows me the PDF document. Now, a couple of things here that I want to point out, first of all, is the search capability. Click on the magnifying glass and then you can type in, let's say I want to find word cloud because that's a particular type of image that I wanted to find and the word, word cloud shows up right there. It takes you right to that spot in the PDF. So you can jump quickly to a spot using the search. You can also zoom in on the PDF and you can use the plus and minus zoom or what you can do is you can use the fit to width and that fits it to the width of the particular tab or window and now it makes it much bigger and easier for everybody to see. Another thing that Edge has is actually drawing tools. So you'll notice up here in the menu, it has a drawing tool. So it gives you some options here of what thickness you want, what color you want. Uh, I'm just gonna use the default here. So if I click on the draw tool, what it does is it gives me a pencil. And so I can now draw around something on the PDF. So if I'm sharing this particular browser tab in my presentation, I'm actually doing this live and people are seeing me draw on the actual PDF. You can also use the highlighter as well to highlight a particular phrase, let's say, in this particular text. And when you're done, press escape to uh, go back to the regular tools uh, of scrolling through. There's also an eraser, so you can click on the erase and now you can erase the drawing that you've uh, put on the PDF. So it really gives you a great opportunity to be able to have the tools of annotation on a PDF, but you're doing it within the browser. It really makes the PDF display function in Edge a great tool for you to use when you are wanting to display a PDF in a presentation. If you want to go back to the regular zoom level, just simply click on the fit to page and it fits it to the width of the actual page of the document. So try using those PDF tools within Edge when you're presenting, and you can do all of this just from your browser. When you're sharing a full screen in a meeting, like I am here in Zoom, what you can do is anything that you drag onto that screen will be shown. So you see I have presenter view here, in PowerPoint, it's break time slide. So what I can do is I can go down to this browser window that has the timer, and you saw that in one of the other tips, to be able to put this timer on the screen. What I do is I simply drag it from the screen here, which is not the one I'm sharing, over to the screen that I am sharing. And you see that come up in the audience attendee view in Zoom. Now I click on start and the timer starts to count down. So anything that you drag onto that screen that you're sharing will show for the attendees, which means any of the content from any of these tips in terms of uh, videos, PDFs, images, anything like that that you have in a separate browser window, you just simply drag it onto the screen and everybody sees it. When you're done, I'll just go ahead and stop the timer. You simply drag this back to the screen that you're using for your notes you continue on with PowerPoint. So it's very powerful to be able to drag that browser window onto the screen that you're sharing. Everybody sees it and then you drag it off. And it, you notice I didn't have to change what I was sharing in the meeting platform.
It's much easier than having to fiddle with sharing something new or stopping sharing, sharing an, an, a different type of window. It's much easier to simply drag it onto the screen that you're sharing and drag it back off. When you're presenting in PowerPoint, one of the options you have is to open up a browser window based on a link. Let's say that what I've done is I've created a slide at the end of my presentation that I can jump to if somebody asks a question. And I've got a link on that slide to an article or a video or something that answers that question. What I can do, you notice I'm in presenter view. So I'm going, going to click on the see all slides and I'll jump down to my answers to common questions slide. Now in presenter view, when somebody says, oh gee, you know, um, how, do, uh, how do I use presenter view in Zoom? What are my different options? Well, you notice I've got a link. So I click on that and it opens that article in a browser tab. To show that tab on the screen that I'm sharing, again, I'll simply just tear it off into its own window and move it onto the screen. Now I'm answering the attendees or audience's question right away with a relevant resource that they see. I go through it. Once I'm done, I can drag it back and either attach it back to the tabs or just simply close this window. And because I'm using presenter view, I can click on that particular link in the presenter view window. I don't have to go to that screen that I'm sharing, so nobody sees me moving the cursor. If uh, another option for uh, presenting maybe my, my video beside my slides, how do you do that? Well, I simply click on this link. It opens that particular article up and then I can remove it and move it over to my shared screen again. This is a great opportunity to use content that is on the web, either your own content or other content that you want to highlight that answers somebody's question. And it's as simple as clicking on a link on a slide that you've created, opening that browser tab with that content, tearing it off, and moving that new window over onto the slide that you're sharing because you're sharing the full screen, because it's on top of the slide, that's what people see. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.